An eyeball, covered by a red nose sign, spins into view. White text on a black background reads, Mason in the Dark. A blind man's journey through the wacky world of reading, writing, and other silly bollocks. Brought to you from beyond the black screen. Cut to black. Hello everyone. Mason here. How you doing? One of the reasons I've been so nervous about moving into the AuthorTube space is that I'm a newbie. I haven't been writing for that long, and a lot of AuthorTube content is geared towards giving advice to aspiring authors, which I can't do because I'm not qualified. However, I recently came to the conclusion that I don't need to give advice. I'm still learning. I feel like I'm constantly growing as an author, and you guys are on this journey with me. I've always had a soft spot for a director's commentary, and from now on, that's what I want these writing vlogs to be, an author's commentary. I'm going to share the lessons that I'm learning, and today's lesson is, word vomit is good. For me, one of the leading causes of writer's block is perfectionism. I sit there with my fingers on the keyboard, not typing, because it's so easy to get caught up in the desire for every word to matter, and I get preoccupied with wanting to get it right the first time, but that's not how it works. Last time, I talked about how I almost ruined everything by rushing. I sat down to write The Bleeding Ground Volume 8, had a good idea, and ran with it, but it was too early in the plot for the events that I'd written to take place. Take your time. Lesson learned. After that, I decided to change direction, and I had a decent chunk of the second draft written, but it still didn't feel right. It just didn't achieve what I wanted it to, so I reluctantly scrapped it and started again with draft number three. Unfortunately, by that point, I'd crawled inside my own head. I was overanalyzing everything, putting too much pressure on myself, and before you know it, BAM! I'd slammed into the wall. Writer's block had arrived with a vengeance. The thing is, I knew exactly what I wanted. This chapter, which I now knew was called Metamorphosis, needed to serve a very specific purpose. I had a clear idea of what I wanted to achieve and what I wanted the vibe to be, but getting that out of my head and communicating it in an effective way was bloody hard. I spent a couple of days not making any progress whatsoever, and it was getting frustrating. Self-doubt was creeping in, and as I often do, I started to wonder if I'd bitten off more than I could chew but it's not like I could give up, so in the end I decided that I just needed to do it. So, I let loose. My fingers danced upon the keyboard with lightning speed and I vomited words into a document like the authorial equivalent of that scene from Team America. In what felt like no time at all, I'd smashed out the entire chapter and I suddenly realised that just do it, the three little words of advice I'd always felt were a bit empty and pointless made complete sense, because sometimes that's what I've got to do. There's just no point sitting there worrying that I'm not good enough with the story going round and round in my head as I try to find the perfect words, because at the end of the day, no matter what I write and no matter how shit it is, I'm the only one that gets to see that. So what if I make a couple of typos, a sentence doesn't make any sense, or a plot point is completely ridiculous? Nobody's ever going to know. The fact of the matter is, that tidal wave of word vomit washed up some decent ideas, and there was at least one simile I was actually quite proud of. Don't get me wrong, it wasn't like I was finished, far from it, but what I'd done was presented myself with an extremely messy version of what I wanted. It was like a massive, ugly boulder, and now all I needed to do was chip away at it and remove the imperfections until I was left with a lovely sculpture of the chapter I'd actually imagined. I just needed to comb through what I'd written and ask myself a couple of questions. What worked and what didn't? Was there anything that I needed to add, delete, rewrite or tidy up? Had I achieved what I wanted to achieve? And you know what? Whilst that process is still ongoing, it's only taken me about a month and now I'm so close to being happy with it. So, there you have it. Sometimes, word vomit is a good thing. It's a useful tool that I shouldn't be afraid to utilise. My question of the day is this. If you had to play a board game against your favourite author with a signed copy of your all-time favourite book on the line, what game would you choose? Have you enjoyed this video? If so, the like and subscribe buttons are just sitting there, waiting to be pressed. Now press them, or I'll choke slam you into an active volcano. If you've got thoughts to share, or you want to say hi, you know where the comment section is, and you can join the discussions in the dark Discord server. 
link in the description. Thanks ever so much for spending time with me today guys, until next time take care, for now I'm off and you should have a good one.